So there may be times when you're wanting to give people a personalized link for your Zoom calls. Let's just say you run a mastermind and you want people to have the same link every week for your mastermind calls and you want it to be a memorable link so they can easily just go to their browser and just type it up without having to remember a whole string of numbers after the Zoom link. So let me show you the two ways that you can do it. The first way is by using something called Pretty Links, which you can use if you have a WordPress website. Now, what this is gonna enable you to do is have something personalized at the end of your domain name. So let's just say you have a domain name which is myamazingwebsite.com and you want your masterminders to get a link which is um, myamazingwebsite.com forward slash VIPs or VIP calls. So what you can do with Pretty Links is you can create that once you have your Zoom link. So first of all, let me show you how this works. So this is Pretty Links. It's a free or what we call a freemium plugin. So you can get it for free and you can use it, um, but you can upgrade and pay to get premium features. Now I use the free version of it and it's perfectly adequate for what I need. And once you've created your pretty links, it gives you a whole load of statistics on the amount of people that have clicked on it, which can just be really useful. So these click counts um, are the amount of people who have clicked on a link. And then the ones over on the right are the amount of unique clicks that you've had. So people who haven't clicked on it before. So um, what you can do every time you create a pretty link is you can easily copy it to your clipboard and that enables you to share it really easily. But I'm going to show you the whole process from start to finish. So if you don't yet know how to install the plugin, please just mention it in the comments below and I can point you towards a resource that's going to show you how to install and activate a plugin. But if you know how to do it and you don't have pretty links installed yet, just go to the plugins area on your WordPress website and, um, and search for Pretty Links and install it and activate it. Once you've got it, you can add it in two different ways. You can add a new link here by clicking on Add New or over here on the left-hand side, you can click on Add New. Either will take you to the same place. To, um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add a new Pretty Link. Now, first of all, we're gonna add a title. So I'm just gonna put this as VIP Call Link. Let's just call it that. And um, I'm not gonna get too much into the whole temporary or permanent redirection. I'm just gonna do this as what, what we call a 301 redirect. And what that means is that this is a permanent change. So every time this um, URL that I'm gonna create now is typed in, it will take them to this link. That's my intention for it. So what we have here is what we call the target url this is where you're wanting people to actually go when you give them the customized link so what we need to do is we need to go to zoom and create that link so in here we're going to go to um, schedule a new meeting and we're going to call this um, vip vip call link and make sure that you have this as a recurring meeting so that it doesn't ever actually expire. You can choose whether you want there to be a password or not. So if this is a regular meeting and you are wanting it to be on an ongoing basis, it might be that you want to have a passcode and change it out every month in case you've got some kind of turnover of members, for example. But for simplicity, I'm just gonna switch that off. You can change any of the other settings yourself and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save. Now what this is gonna do is it's going to give me the actual link in here. So I can grab this from, um, from my calendar. And now I can come over and I can add that new link that I've just created. I can paste it into the target URL. So here, this is what we're wanting to mask basically. This would normally be the link that we would have to send people to but actually we want them to have a really easy link. So this is where we get to choose what our pretty link is gonna be. Now it's always gonna be prefaced with your domain name. So you can't change this first part of it. So my domain name is the website mentor.com and then it's gonna be forward slash and whatever I choose. So I choose what comes afterwards. So let's just say I want it to be called VIPs. So when I'm inviting my VIP members to my mastermind calls, I can tell them to just go to the websitementor.com forward slash VIPs 
and it will take us straight there. And I'll show you how in just a moment. If you want to add notes, you can add those here just as a reminder. So we could just put here, personalized link for VIP calls. And it's pretty self-explanatory, but there might be a scenario where you're wanting to add an extra excla explanation or just remind yourself what it's for. So if I cl click on here, it's gonna copy that full URL to the clipboard. Before you disappear off this page, remember to click on update so it actually publishes and saves this new pretty link. And then once you've got that, then you can go ahead, you can see it's now added it here to my full list of pretty links. You can see there's been no clicks on it yet. Um, again, I can grab the link from here if I want to. Um, but what I can do now is I can go ahead and if I just paste that URL in here, so VIPs, let's just check that it's going to take us to Zoom, which it is doing. Okay, so this now would open up that Zoom link for us. So that's cool. That's exactly what we were wanting it to do. So that's the first way you can do it. So you can do it with pretty links. Now, let's say you don't have a website yet, or maybe you don't want your new link your zoom your personalized zoom link maybe you don't want it associated with your website so you could in this scenario you could create an entirely new web link with a new domain name now it doesn't matter what provider you use whether it's godaddy or 123reg whoever it might be you can register a domain name anywhere now just to be really clear you register the right to use a domain name. You don't ever actually buy one. So when you're registering a domain name, you're gonna use it, you're gonna to have to re-register it year on year. So let's just search for something. Let's just say um, VIP calls, callswithvicky.com. Let's just say that's what I want it to be. Or maybe um, VIP, VIP with Vicky. Let's see how that goes. Let's see, oops. I actually clicked return by accident. VIP calls with Vicky. Let's see if it's available. It's available. Okay, so I can go ahead and actually purchase that. Or let's see, VIP with Vicky is also available. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go through the full process. I'm actually going to purchase this domain name or register it so that you can see the full process. So if I go to the uh, checkout cart now and I can go ahead, I can confirm this order and Actually, let me just take you back a second. Let me, let me see if it'll let me take you back to that actual um, order because what I want to show you, so this is my basket here. What I want to show you is in the cart, you get loads more options. So you could add on domain privacy or premium DNS. You can also add on SSL certificates, VPN, all this kind of stuff. You don't need any of that for this scenario. Now, every domain registrar is gonna be different. This is Namecheap, I love it because I really like the interface. It's really straightforward, it's easy to use. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just check out as it is. This is all I need. So I'm gonna pay with PayPal. Uh, so that just means me logging into this for a moment, but there's other payment options. So you can use a, a credit card if you would prefer. So I'm just gonna log in here and um, I'll go ahead and use some of my PayPal balance. And, um, and what this means is that once I have this registered, I can go ahead and I can initiate something called the domain forward, or I can redirect my domain. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you do it. Now, it doesn't matter where your domain name is registered. This option will be available to you, but it might be called slightly different, something slightly different, or it might be in a slightly different place within your um, management interface. So uh, here we have it, vipwithvicky.com. I'm going to go ahead and click on manage. So from your domain registration uh, control panel, find a way to actually manage the domain name. Normally by clicking on it, that will take you to the, some management tools. So in Namecheap, this is here. It's really straightforward. So what we have is a whole load of options. We don't need any of them except redirect domain. Now, it could be called forward domain. That's the same kind of thing. And what it's saying is, when someone types in vipwithvicky.com, where do you want them to go? So this destination URL here is what I want to change. So I'm gonna click into this and overwrite this existing destination URL. And I'm literally just going to type in that, um, Zoom link that we had before. So let me go and grab it again. So that was my Zoom link. 
and I'm gonna paste it in here. So this was the link. Remember to always save the changes. There'll be some way for you to actually apply this change. If you forget to do it, then it won't actually take effect. So I'm gonna click on the little green tick, which Namecheap gives us, but in yours it might, it might say save changes or apply the redirect or uh, save the forwarding, whatever it is, make sure that you go ahead and do it. And you can always, when you want to cancel any of these kind of forwardings, you can just click on the trash can and that will reset the whole thing. So now if I go to vipwithvicky.com, you're gonna see that it's gonna take me to vipwithvicky.com, it's gonna take me to open up that Zoom link that I've asked it to. So, oops, that's not great, it didn't work. Hang on, what did I do wrong? Um, let me just grab the domain name. Did I type it in incorrectly? Hang on one second. VIP with Vicky.com. I think I spelt it correctly. Let me just try it again. Um, it should work. Here we go. So that's it. Maybe I just, I needed to give it a moment for that redirect to take effect. So this is a now trying to open up that Zoom link, which we've redirected it to. So those are the two ways that you can do this. So you can either do it with a pretty link if you have a WordPress website, or you can do it through registering a whole new domain name that's gonna take people to that particular Zoom link that you're wanting to use. So hopefully that was really helpful and I hope that you can go ahead now and absolutely rock it with your own personalized Zoom link that you can hand out to anyone that you want to come along and join your Zoom calls. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Vicki Etherington, the website mentor. If you like this video, please go ahead and click the like button or go ahead and subscribe to my channel for loads more tips and tricks around your website or your online tech tools. Thank you so much for watching.